Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses. Today I got a little topic for our Friday philosophy, and it's actually going to be a little bit of an object lesson. So a little bit of backstory. My dad grew up in Washington State, and he, when he was a young man, did some work on some of the, the lumber cutting crews. And so he learned how to be a lumberjack and to fell trees and stuff like that. And, and then later he grew up, and uh, one of the jobs he had was a framer carpenter and so he passed some of that knowledge on to me and so I know uh enough about being a lumberjack to get a tree to fall where I need it to be and and yeah it's, a, it's come in handy several times and also um enough about construction and and framing to be able to know how to frame up a wall and and put a window in and a door in and stuff like that so it's been really good I'm I'm very thankful for that information so we're going to use some of that information today. And so my brother was building a house. And when he built the house, um, they had a, there was a guy that had a, an old church way outside of town. And so they were wanting, they were going to get rid of it. And so they were, uh, didn't want to burn it down, but they wanted to get, have somebody come down and tear it, tear it down and maybe reuse the lumber. So my brothers decided they would do that. So they got it all disassembled, took all the nails out of the boards and when you use old lumber and recycle it, you have to have it tested. You have to have it inspected. So my dad went and, and learned how to be a lumber inspector. And so they, in order to inspect lumber, when you grade it, you put it between two points and then you put a load in the middle. And when you put the load in the middle, you you measure the deflection, how much that how much that lumber bends with that amount of weight. And so when they did theirs, they found out that it was twice as good as the lumber they were buying from the lumber yard it had half the deflection so it's really good and they were the the lumber that they had torn down on this old church was douglas fir and douglas fir is a very good lumber it's very strong for the weight and the rings are are very close together and so you know it depends on how fast that tree grows and, and stuff like that so Anyway, I was just thinking about that in, in our lives. You know, when we grow and when our horses grow, when we have tribulation, when troubles come and it's not ideal environment, it causes us some stress. And it's not enjoyable when that happens, but it causes us to grow stronger. So when we have storms come or maybe there's a drought or whatever, those, those tribulations cause us to be stronger. And the same thing with the trees. The trees that don't grow as fast, they grow slower. They're slower to mature. Uh, and even uh, trees that have that grow where there's you know not a lot of water, they're stronger growing trees. And then when we have all the environmental um, benefits, you know the, the 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 right amount of temperature, the right amount of sunlight, the right amount of water, the right amount of nutrients in the soil, we grow faster. And that's great. You know, we know um, horses and animals that have been stunted in their growth because they didn't receive the nutrients that they needed when they were growing. So too much drought and too much tribulation is not good. And also no tribulation is not good either. We need some sort of stress in our life to to kind of help us grow stronger and to to reach the potential that we're going to need. And we also need uh, you know, good, good, um, and in a good environment at some times, because if, if all we have is a drought, we're not gonna, we're not gonna reach our potential, right? We'll just be stunted. And then if all we have is, is green, lush, you know, the, the perfect environment, then we're not going to be as strong either because we'll grow too fast and we won't have the, the strength and toughness that we need. So somewhere in the middle, a little balance is what we need of both. So anyway, I want to challenge you today if you're going through tough times um remember that can help you grow strong and then if your environment isn't isn't conducive to growing i don't want you guys to be stunted either so maybe we need to change our environment get somewhere where we're more encouraged or we can have a better environment uh, to grow in and the same thing with our horses you know if we're if it's all fuzzy rainbows those horses aren't going to learn how to deal with pressure and then if if there's too much pressure, that's not good for them either. It causes them to be anxious and stressed. So we want to have somewhere in the middle. We want to have them so that they have a good lifestyle, that they're 
strong and they can deal with some pressure and, and stress when it comes and they're not going to get too bothered by it. But at the same time, um, they have a good, enjoyable life and, and reach their potential as far as that goes too. So anyway, remember, we're all trying to be the person our horse deserves and hope this helps. Thank <laughs> you.